Welcome to this WordPress Wednesday. My name is Kevin Barnes, and the WordPress attack that I have for you today is quite simply how to optimize your WordPress install uh, from the get-go. And if you've current, if you're currently using WordPress uh, to manage your blog or, or a website, and you have not set up a proper permalink structure yet, uh, you could be missing out on a lot of traffic and leaving a lot of traffic on the table for yourself. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm logged in here to a fresh, brand new install here at wordpressattack.com. And I'm gonna navigate here into the dashboard over here to the, the, the tool panel here and it says settings, as you can see. I'm gonna go ahead and click on settings. And as you can see, it drops down and you can see here there's a link called permalinks. You wanna click on that link and you'll be taken to the permalink settings page. Now, by default, your, your WordPress install is got this sort of link structure, okay? It's got the question mark P equals and a random number assigned to each post or each page that you create. Now, that's not very friendly to the search engines. The search engines really wanna see certain keywords in your, uh, your blog post links so that they know how to rank that uh, blog post a lot better. So what you want to do is come over here and just the simplest way to do this is uh, click on the month and the name option and go ahead and highlight everything before this forward slash here and delete it and you should be left with this code here. It'll, it should say forward slash a percent sign, post name, another percent sign and forward slash and it should be in the custom structure text field. Once you've completed this you're gonna hit click on save changes and now you can just go ahead and navigate over to uh, the live view of your website. And if we click on Hello World, you'll notice here up in the address bar is it says Hello World, just like that. So now instead of using those numbers, it's saying an actual name. So let's go ahead and set up a new post just to make another example. And I'm going to go ahead and call this Keyword. And I'll just go ahead and put Test for now into the body. I'm going to click publish. Okay, and we'll go over here to the WordPress install again. Refresh the page and you'll see I've got a new post called keyword. I'll click on that title. And again, you can see in the address bar it says keyword. So this is going to greatly improve your search engine rankings. It's also going to allow the search engines to know how to rank you uh, for the keywords that you're blogging about and that the content that you're creating. So you're going to want to go ahead and make those changes to your WordPress install as soon as you possibly can. Did you like this video? Did you hate this video? Please let me know by giving me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Also, if you have a question or a comment or even a question about something about WordPress that has not been covered in this video, I would love to cover those in future videos. My name is Kevin Barnes. This is WordPress Attack, and I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye-bye.